Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. And in this video, we're going to get started building our application. Now to do that, we're going to be using Create React App. So in this video, we're going to show you how you can use Create React App plus Electron to get up and going with a basic Electron site. That's right. We're going to get going on that right now. Okay, so to get started, we're going to be getting our Electron project going with Create React App. Now, there's a number of ways that we can actually get an Electron app going, but this is one that I find to be really nice because it takes care of a lot of the tooling and building stuff that we need and that we're typically used to within Create React app, uh, but it just sort of allows us to show you the true process of how easy it is to just throw Electron into a project and sort of what that means. Now. You could use any sort of other bundler, or uh, I like to use Parcel a lot, so you could use Parcel with this. However, uh, Parcel and Webpack, well, they both have their same issues with Electron, and really it doesn't matter which one you use. So basically, because Create React App is so nice and easy to get up and running with, we're going to be using Create React App, and most of the same issues that you'll encounter with Parcel, you would encounter with Create React App. So what we want to do first and foremost is create our new app. Now, again, I should mention that this series assumes that you have some base React knowledge and that you've used Create React App before. If you haven't and don't have those things, head on over to Level Up Tutorials and check out React 16 for everyone where we teach you the basics of React. Uh, and we also use Create React App in that. So again, I'm going to be assuming that you have Create React App installed. What we want to do is make sure you're in the directory where you keep your sites or you would like to keep this site. And we're going to go ahead and create a new React app with create hyphen react hyphen app. And we're going to give this app a name of which, since this is going to be a journaling app, I'm just simply going to call it journal. Let's go ahead and click create react app journal. And this is going to go ahead and install everything and basically get our project set up to sort of the standard, what you would expect from create react app. Awesome. So we can go ahead and change directories into our journal application now. And now from inside of our application, we can go ahead and run yarn start just like it suggested. So now this is going to go ahead and fire up our create react app. Okay, and as you can see, I've opened up my local host port 3000 in here. And just like this, we have this going. So pretty cool. We have our new React app. This is nothing that you haven't done at this point. Now, I do want to open this application inside of my text editor. So let's go ahead and do that now. I don't mind any sort of text editor. Use whatever you are comfortable with. I will be using VS Code in this series, and I'm going to be using sort of the same tools that I normally use with VS Code. So the extension uh, that I use here for the theme is Level Up Official. And in addition to that, I'm going to be using a React extension. Let me go ahead and pop over my extensions to show you uh, which snippet library I'm using, just in case I need to use a React snippet here or there, uh, just so we can be on the same page. The React snippet library I use is ES7 React Redux GraphQL React Native Snippets, okay? So uh, install this one if you'd like to follow along. If you have your own snippet library, no worries. I mostly just use this for creating new components anyways. Okay, so we basically have our create React app here, which is, well, nothing different than what we've ever done before. It just has our source folder with all of our stuff in it. App.js contains the main component that you see on the front page. Now, what's different about this is that we want to get Electron going in this thing. So how the heck do you get Electron going in your Create React app? Well, the process is way more easy than you might expect. In fact, I found this process to be really super simple and was really sort of blown away after working in uh, systems like React Native, where things can feel really difficult sometimes. The fact that this system is so easy to get up and running is a huge plus. OK, so let's go ahead and make a new tab in our command line. And this is just going to be for uh, installing things. And what we can do is simply run yarn add. And then we want to have a hyphen hyphen dev. And what we want inside of here is going to be Electron. OK, so this is going to be a dev dependency. We're going to want to make sure we add install Electron this way. And let's check out 
Uh, we'll make sure our package.json is updated, make sure the versions are all what you would expect. That way we can talk a little bit about versions. And um, if your versions and things aren't matching mine and you're running into issues, you can always change your versions to be mine. Okay. So let's just hang out while this installs. Okay, Electron's installed. I'm going to head back over to VS Code. We can check out our package.json. You can see I'm on Electron version 202. Okay, and uh, so if you run into issues and you are not using Electron here, 202, go ahead and make sure your version is the same. Maybe that's, maybe that's what's causing it, who knows? But most likely you have a bug somewhere. So obviously just do this as sort of a last ditch effort to solve your problem. But check it out, these are some of my dependencies. Obviously this is a little bit small here. What I'm gonna be doing off screen is bumping up the file size, don't worry. I'll be doing that now as we actually get into some code here. So hopefully everything is nice and big for you now, or at least nice and easy to see. You can see here some of our versions here. Now it's pretty cool. We have some uh, scripts here, this React scripts, start, build, and stuff like that. This is all stuff that comes with Create React App. Now we do have a command that we want to be adding to this, which is just simply going to be Electron. So this script is going to be named Electron. And what this is going to do is it's actually going to fire up Electron itself. So we can just say in a string here, Electron, then dot. So Electron, space dot, which is simply just going to run Electron in the current directory. Now, the next thing we need is we need an entry script for Electron. This is going to be where Electron looks for its uh, sort of server side code. I'll, I'm, I'll be talking much more about those distinctions in the next video uh, between the what is sort of like uh, Electron server side code. So let's go ahead and have main. And then we're going to have it be src forward slash main dot js. Now, if you've been paying attention, you might have noticed that main dot js does not exist, and it certainly doesn't exist inside of the source folder. So if we save this and we were ever to run the electron command, this would notably freak out, right? However, the application should still be up and running, no issues. I'm gonna leave my console open over here just to have some information just in case it pops up. No worries there. And let's go ahead and head back in here and let's go ahead and create our source main.js file. So in the source folder, we're gonna have a new file and it's simply going to be main.js. Now main.js is going to contain basically all of our Electron startup stuff. Now at this point, I'm going to need you to copy some code. Now this code is going to come from the Electron quick start that's in Electron's own quick start repo. So inside of here, uh, we wanna be checking out this main.js file. Now you could Google this or you could head straight into the course files or the course repo and just copy this out of there. It might be easier to just copy it directly out of the course repo. Uh, and before we discuss the contents of this file, let's go ahead and just copy and paste the raw file into our code. So you can select raw from GitHub, you can copy it out of the course files, whatever you'd like. And let's head back to our application and paste it into main. Okay, so comments and all, this thing is really well commented. It tells you exactly what it's doing. The first thing we're doing is importing app and browser window from Electron. Now app is going to be your application. Browser window is going to be the window itself. Here we have a function named create window. Create window is simply going to define a new browser window, which is uh, width of 800 and height of 600 by default. Okay, you can change those values if you'd like. And the next thing we have is this main window load file. Now this is the only line in here I think we're going to need to change because we don't want to load a file, we actually want to load a URL. Especially because what we're doing is working with an already existing localhost URL. So if we copy our URL from our actual working React app and paste it into this string here, well, it's not gonna work still. Let's actually get rid of that last forward slash. And instead of load file, you might want to change this to load URL, okay? Or else it's not gonna work. So we need main window load URL, and it's now going to load our local host. So one thing that that should give you a hint of is that for this bundler to work and for Electron to work, your application has to first be running, which is one of the reasons why we started our application and saw it working in the browser first anyways, okay? So next we have on window close, all this stuff, 
basically we don't need to touch, okay? This is just a function that runs when the window closes. Next, when we see that the app is ready, it's going to run create window which is obviously going to create our window looking at that local host. And again, when all windows are closed, it's going to quit the app. Here's some, just some basic stuff to get us up and running, okay? So check it out. You can read over this file a little bit more. A lot of the contents in here aren't super important right now because what is important is that we should be able to actually see our Electron app up and running. With the addition of this and the load URL instead of load file, we should be able to actually head to our hyper and we can run now yarn Electron. And hopefully this is going to work for us. So check it out. As long as you did everything correctly, again, if your main.js file is not looking the same, go ahead and compare it to what we have in the course files in the course repo. But as you can see, it has opened up a new window. And excitingly enough, it has an icon. If we hover over into my doc, it actually has an icon. It has things like you'd come to expect from normal Apple applications. And although you can't see my toolbar in this particular video, it should see Electron Edit when uh, view window help all that sort of stuff up top in later videos where we're actually going over the menu i will make sure that stuff is very very visible so check it out you have now created your first desktop application now this thing is really lame it's just a window with a rotating uh, react logo and well it's not doing a whole lot it's just a website without the whole url bar you can't even really get around it because there's no links there's no pages for that matter either over the course of this series, we're gonna be transforming this thing into, well, not a website, because in my opinion, it might be a little bit boring to just make a website into an app. What we're gonna be doing is actually working with native file systems, creating an application that is more in tune with what you're used to using on your actual computer, uh, rather than just a website wrapped in a shell, okay? So check it out, this is Electron. We're gonna get going on this thing and we're gonna be talking all about this main file. We're gonna be talking all about the sort of boundaries between React and Electron. We're gonna get this thing going to you have a full understanding of not only how to build real excellent apps in Electron, but you're also going to have a ton of inspiration to keep going and make this project that we're working on way cooler. So in the next video, we're gonna be talking about a lot of the important stuff that we need to understand. We're going to be diving a little bit more into this main file. We're going to be talking about our app file. We're going to be talking about the distinctions between what's called the renderer and the main. And it's going to mirror some concepts that you might be used to on the web. So let's get into in the next video where we discuss some of the important foundational knowledge that you need before we can continue going with Electron. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.